Good. Um, yeah, I'll just go to full screen. Okay. Maybe a bit better. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Now, next uh, session is by Peachy Publications, and our speaker is Nick Peachy. He's an independent publisher. Uh, Peachy Publications has a range of teaching and learning resources and teacher development materials that have been specifically designed for the online classroom, which is very uh, a topic that is very, very uh, relevant today. Uh, so you can come along and see a range of materials, chat about how they can be used in the virtual classroom, and you can also download some free samples. This session is being live streamed and recorded, and you can watch live stream both on YouTube and Facebook. So welcome, Nick. I will just uh, turn off my video and uh, microphone and you can start. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hi. Um, thank you for everybody who's coming along. I nearly didn't make it to this because I thought it was an hour from now rather than now. And I just checked to see what was happening and noticed that Mike was uh, finishing. So I had to sort of dash in here and try and get my webcam set up and everything. Anyway, um, thank you for coming along and, and listening. I'll be just doing a short presentation about PG publications and the kind of work we do and what we're trying to do as well. Um, I'll click to the next slide of my screen. Um, could you just uh, quickly type into chat to let me know what, what the title of the, the, the slide is, just to make sure that you can see, we can both see the same thing. Okay, I don't see anything coming through the chat. Oh, there they are, Nick Page. Okay, good, I've got it now. Great, perfect, thanks a lot. Okay, just to make sure you can see my screen. And I'll give you a copy of the presentation or a link to a copy of the presentation at the end if you if you want to check out a few things um, more. Um, I'm here as role number one. I, as you can see, I have a number of different roles that I do. Um, I'm director of PG Publications and um, responsible for, for um, publishing uh, what's largely a lot of my own work and I'm starting to publish other teachers too as, as we start to develop. Um, I am also an online course designer. I've worked with Bell and won an Innovations Award in 2012 for, for designing their online course for, for blended learning. I've worked with um, uh, an online school for a couple of years by Macmillan and, and um, developed online courses for them. And more recently, I've been developing course, online courses for, for Eton College for their Eton X product project which was sort of based around soft skills. I'm also an author and sort of um, that's where PG Publications came from after winning the Innovations Award in 2016 and I do some work on sort of technology consultancy and education tech consultancy. So that's a kind of quick introduction to me and sort of what I'm about. If you want to check out my social media sort of presence uh, later on there are links along the bottom there to all the different sort of things on social media that I do. Okay, so in this, this session I'd like to talk a bit about PG Publications, what it's about and, and sort of what pre, we produce. Uh, there'll be a, a discount code at the end, so if you want to buy anything for half price, uh, hang on to the end and you can. And, um, and uh, uh, if you go to the virtual expo stand, you'll be able to download some of our, our materials. Just sort of want to start with a, a kind of look at our origins and you know what what we're about and what's happening. Um, I, I've actually been involved in education for about 30 years now, hence the grey beard. Um, I started as a guitar teacher working in a prison and uh, got interested in English language teaching and, and uh, got hooked on that. Um, for the last 20 years, I've been working, just a bit over 20 years actually, I've been working in digital education and digital ELT. Um, I was, I, my first uh, digital teaching gig was uh, in 1998 um, when I was uh, working on a blended learning course, which was a mixture of uh, online materials and telephone uh, lessons with the teacher. So, you know, things have come a long way from then. Thank God, you know, uh, hopefully what we're doing now is much better. Uh, for the last, I actually launched um, 
Pidgey Publications about five years ago. I, I crowdsourced money to write the, my first book, which was Digital Video, a Manual for Language Teachers, and, and launched publica Pidgey Publications based on that because I decided to sort of sell it and market it myself rather than going to a publisher. And that, that first book won the British Council's Innovations Award in 2016. So that was a sort of great way to start off. Since having that one book, um, we have now sort of built up a catalogue of, of over 70 products, digital products. Um, we don't do any print or paper. Everything can be bought or downloaded online and used online. And uh, we, we've I've delivered so far to just over 9,000 customers and we've delivered some 21,000 orders, so 21,000 different books so far. Um, most of them over the last year as the as the, the market's grown and uh, as we've grown far more products into our range. In terms of our goals and what we want to do, you know, Pitchy Publications really is about delivering, trying to deliver high quality, innovative, creative materials. Um, you know, we, we don't want to sort of be reproducing loads of uh, grammar worksheets and things like that. We want the, the, the materials to be fresh and new. Um, based around creativity, getting students speaking and thinking and involving the whole student. We're trying to deliver materials that are affordable to teachers and students. And that's why we don't do anything on paper. Everything is digital. Um, our, our, our materials for the classroom, um, only the teacher has to buy a copy there. The, the students doesn't have the students don't have to buy copies so that cuts down prices enormously and uh, you know we try and keep prices down and everything economical for everyone one of the other aims is that you know we'd also try to model sort of diversity and inclusivity you know the as of when i show you the materials you, you might see that we you know we have a wide range of different images that we use so that we show people of different cultures try and um turn the tables on, on sort of uh, gender stereotypes um, in their listening materials. We're trying to use a wide range of native and non-native uh, accents and, and different peoples for those recordings. And, uh, you know, and also in the materials that themselves, we're trying to sort of also confront gender stereotypes. Um, we'd like to try and develop students and teachers as people. We're not just about teaching the language. You know, a lot of our plans involve elements of soft skills and developing the whole person. Um, our teacher resource materials and, and teaching books. You know, we're trying to develop teachers as, as people who can develop their students' creativity, not just their ability to sort of understand grammar. And you know, we're trying to prepare students with the kind of skills that they need for the future, not just language. In terms of our products, um, we have two different streams of project products. We have teacher development books. These are mostly published as PDF or using iBooks author for teachers who want to download materials on the iPad. All of our, most of our materials for teacher development include video tutorials, um, which are either embedded into the book if it's an iBook or, or the link to through uh, QR codes or links if they're PDFs. And we try to write, use examples which we build in dynamic uh, HTML5, like the, the kind of uh, presentation that you're watching at, at the moment. You see it moves a lot. It works on mobile. It also works in the laptop. So you know, we're, we're trying to sort of build materials that are across devices. Our classroom materials come with a teacher's guide. They also have the HTML5 dynamic presentation that this one does. We're building in interactive components to those and building a blended learning aspect as well. Um, they include MP3 audios. So if you're working in an environment uh, like an online environment, you can upload the audio files for students to listen to. Um, there's also a printable PDF version for those that are desperate for it. And we're building in blended learning components as well. And for schools who are interested in buying our materials, we can also white label these materials so that they include your own logos, uh, your own color scheme. And we could sort of change around some images or some aspects of them as well if you want. So we can do a kind of customized result, uh, customized product for schools including sort of links to your own social media and that kind of thing. 
Um, I'll show you some examples of our products. Just checking on time because I don't want to be go for too long. Um, this is an example of uh, one of our latest business English lessons. Um, this one's based around sort of making conversation. And um, as you can see, um, it's, this is the, the, the teacher's material and student's material. Um, we've got exercises on social etiquette, um, which uh, students are able to do. Um, we have these interactive buttons where they get some input um, and some feedback at times, and those have different elements attached to them. Um, in some cases, students can uh, uh, take those onto their computer using QR codes. This is an example of different managers around the world giving their, giving their, um, their tips for how to build conversation. And uh, these played these play directly from the presentation so and uh, have scripts attached so students can uh, teachers can show the students scripts if they want to and we have a range of different sort of accents here as well to keep things sort of quite diverse you know, we also have post discussion and again there are sort of interactive elements with some aspects of language in them to help students as well but we sort of concentrate on sort of developing fluency and these materials run as you're seeing them now within a virtual uh, uh, teaching environment. If you're using Zoom, they run exactly like this and students can do the listening activities if they want to uh, within this environment as well. Um, we have a number of different role plays and again these have been set up for sort of working in this type of environment. Students can scan the QR codes on their phone to get their role card or the teacher can show them their role here. There's just a little sort of click to see their role and uh, sort of image to help them understand what's going on there. And uh, so students can do can scan their, their roll card and then you can put them into breakout rooms so that they, they've got their roll card with them and they can do their role play in their breakout rooms while you move around. So we've thought about how these materials will work in a virtual, in a virtual learning environment and try to make things as easy as possible as we can for the teacher and for the students. So there's not loads of, lots of downloading and, and uh, things like that. This is another example of a business English le lesson. This one's about remote management, uh, which is, you know, re managing remote teams, which is probably quite topical at the moment. Um, you know, discussions about how, how different aspects will uh, impact on sort of, you know, managing, managing teams vir virtually so students can get on into breakout rooms, discuss these things together and share their experience. Um, they can listen to different managers uh, talking about, you know, how, how um, managing remote teams work for them and the kinds of problems that they had. And I forgot to bring my water. And, uh, and again, you know, we've tried to make reading materials uh, 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 student friendly so that we can do reading activities here. Students can ca scan the QR code. Um, the teacher can show a different ver a version here. We've tried to make these mobile friendly by sort of, you know, breaking things down into short paragraphs that students can then expand. So I hope, I hope you're seeing that on your computer screen. And uh, can I get rid of it now? And um, so, you know, we've been trying to think about how these things will work within the virtual environment and, and offer solutions that will work there. You know, we can do things like, this is an example of, you know, identifying feelings through listening and, and trying to identify how the speaker is feeling and students or teachers can drag and drop the different audios and drop them into the different boxes as they listen to them. So, you know, again, trying to, to build up the amount of interactivity with the materials that happens within the classroom. 
and again we can do the same with text you know students can drag and drop these texts in the in the appropriate place or the teacher can drag them around and show students the answers so you know hopefully this is sort of making things easier for both teachers and students to to build a degree of sort of interaction within their classes Um, this is an example from our, our series on conversation and listening and these are a series of lessons that are built to try and help the students fluency skills and, and develop their listening these are aimed at about uh, a to b1 level and uh, this one's called the athlete they're all based around sort of quite common topics e each one has an example of a of someone talking about some aspect of their life can, uh, based around the topic um, so these can if you're using zoom you can you can allow zoom to access your computer uh, audio so you can play these directly and get them to listen or you can upload the audio files and get students to listen um, we've tried to make the the listening tasks quite open so that the tasks aren't testing students listening they're trying to develop it so for example this one's you know listen and make notes about facts about her so students are, are, are kind of being evaluated on what they can do rather than what they're failing to do so it's not about getting the the answers right or wrong it's about you know what information have you taken from this um, one of our very common uh, listening activities is you listen and compare the person to yourself so there's no right or wrong answer there it's just you know in what ways do you feel similar to this person or, or do you have similar habits to this person so we're sort of trying to build a very sort of personal reaction to audio rather than a sort of comprehension testing based uh, aspect which again i think makes online learning you know a bit more interesting if, if it's involving you as a person we do have the have some of the more difficult activities that drill down a bit more and again this this is one that we can do in the class and um, it's based around uh, dictation students listen to a listen so students listen to a, an example sentence they type it in and uh, they, then they can sort of check at the bottom once they've typed all those sentences in again if we want to do them you know on mobile students can just scan the qr code there they can do them on their mobile device and uh, so it can be done in the classroom or it can be done um, it can be done by students sort of working on their own and then then sort of showing the teacher their results um, and again we're, we're sort of in the process of building a blended learning aspect so all these kind of interactive activities like this one can be sort of built into a platform or if you have your own platform already they can be imported into your platform and again can all be white labeled um, another example activity from that uh, looks at a uh, again we're sort of trying to to promote discussion imagination and empathy so you know students look at an example uh, image and, tr and discuss together how she's thinking how she's feeling try and empathize with the person in the in the image and then with this one we've also got a a video activity built in and so students can watch the video this is a video about uh, a muslim girl who's the world champion kickboxing expert and they can sort of watch the video here or the teacher can play it and then you sort of build up a summary of the the different uh things that she talks about and it's giving you sort of feedback as you go so we can all work, either do this uh, collaboratively as a class or students can scan their QR code there. The QR code expands as I mouse over it just to make it easier for students to scan. So they can scan the QR code and they can actually do it on their own on their own computer if you want, if you want them to. Okay, so that's sort of a, another aspect of our materials that we sort of built in another series that we're building is a building is a series called uh, video shorts and these are all based around um, silent or well not silent but but um, dialogueless speechless I can't remember what the right word is you know is it dialogueless speechless it's not silent wordless uh, uh, videos that are 
can be found on YouTube. So this is one called The First Date. And, um, you know, we build students into it by, by sort of doing some matchmaking themselves and trying to decide which of these couples, you know, which of these people should be couples. And then uh, after that, they watch a, a short video, which is sort of embedded from YouTube. They can scan the QR code if they want to, to watch it on their own computer, or you can show it live here. Um, no. Just. Okay, that, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the, the date actually goes horribly wrong. And um, then afterwards they have some activities to do. Um, they look at what could, they were thinking about building up the scripts, script for the activity, where would people say these things, what order would they come in? And again, there's an interactive activity so they can, they can sort of try and rebuild the order that the, the sentences would fall in. Okay, and we try to sort of put these things into, so they gradually build up the, the conversation there. So, you know, we've tried to sort of build in these kind of interactive elements that will all work here in the online, you know, virtual classroom. Um, this one, we're trying to sort of, you know, challenge gender stereotypes. So there are, you know, as a follow up, one of the follow up activities, they look at these different couples and try and imagine what their story is and how they came together. Um, you know, teachers don't have to do this. They can miss this slide if they want to, if they feel it's too risky. But, you know, it's just a way of you know, getting students to think about you know, um, different different aspects of gender and race and, and sort of see the world in a more, slightly more open minded way, if that's possible with your students. So, you know, we try and build those things in. So those are those are some examples. Um, I'll, I'll just open the we have a I'll get a link to the catalog and share that with you. Oh, I don't know if I. Hopefully, oh, I've lost screen share now. Let me start again. Okay, so should be still sharing. I'll share a link to the um, to the catalog with you. Just let me find that. Um, I'm just typing in, there's a link to the catalogue. If you like any of those materials, um, you can get a 50% 50, 50 discount on them between now and Tuesday by using this, this link here, VRT Expo. So if you type that link in, in if you go to the, the materials you want, you click on buy now, um, enter your, your name and your email address, and then you get a little sign that says coupon code, and you type that coupon code in, you'll get a 50% discount on any of the materials you want between now and Tuesday. Um, you can also become a, a subscriber. Uh, if you become a yearly subscriber, you can download our complete catalogue today and you'll get all of our updates. We're updating things every week, twice a week at the moment. You'll get all of the rest of our updates for the next year for free. And uh, a, a yearly subscriber for an individual is $60. Um, so that's a, a pretty good deal. I'll, I'll grab that link and, and enter that for you. So if that's if you're interested in in subscribing and getting everything, that's there. Let me see if I can get get back to my screen now. The expo again, and also for if you're if you're managing a school or something like that, we also have a deal for schools at the moment. You know, as as we're trying to sort of work through and face this crisis together, you know, I've I've put together a seventy five discount percent discount for schools so any school who wants to buy 50 licenses to use with up to 50 with up to 50 teachers so they can download copies of all the materials use them with as many as 50 teachers and that's uh, with the discount at the moment that's that's down to to a hundred dollars a year so you know that's you know quite reasonable if you want to get your your teachers set up and using these kinds of materials in their classrooms um, 
we don't have you know a vast supply of of, of course materials um, but you know there are materials enough materials to run short courses with certainly our conversation and listening um, materials are enough to run a sort of 20 uh, probably about a 20 hour course with and we've got enough business materials now i think to run sort of 20 30 hour course as well as the teacher development but books that we supply which can help your teachers get thinking and working more digitally and a bit more creatively okay so that's uh, just about my time up i think if if anybody has any questions or if we have time for questions i'm sort of happy to answer those if if uh, if that's okay um, and uh, but if not, you know, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, I hope you like the materials and you know, I hope this hasn't been you know, too much of a, a rush through too many things, but you know, have a look and, and if you like them, try some out. And, and if you're running a school and you're sort of interested in sort of white labeling or and having your own sort of logo and your own color scheme on them, you know, by all means, get in touch. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you, Nick. This is fantastic. The materials thanks, are fantastic thanks, thanks. and the offers that you're giving uh, with the coupons and discounts are really, really fantastic. Thank you so Great. much. Thank you. Thank you and very much. I encourage people and participants here to use the code and uh, to get these uh, interesting materials. Thank you very much for the presentation. I'll, I'll just pass a link to the presentation mm -hmm. through Please do. the chat. And then mm -hmm. so you can have a look through again and uh, and uh, have a click on them and see how they work and um, and you'll find the code there. So there's the there's the link to the presentation there if you want to, to have so a look through. Them. We can use a little bit of time because we have a break after this. So if there are any questions, I uh, encourage people to ask now in the chat so Nick can answer if there are any questions. I hope you can spare five minutes. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm fine. For questions. Okay. Okay. So no extra copyright is needed to redistribute, uh, redistribute the materials. So if you're redistributing them to your teachers, then then you know by by subscribing you 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 have my permission to distribute them to up to 50 teachers. Um, if you buy a single copy yourself, then that, that copy is only for you and, and you don't have the right to redistribute that. Um, you know, I'm aware that sort of lots of people do violate material, copyright materials, but you know, um, I, I'm sort of act mainly on trust. But as, as to, far as uh, the, the sort of school subscriptions go you know you can download them store them in a, in a private place and redistribute them to up to 50 teachers yeah, that's great uh, there is another question who created these materials just yourself or others too um the, the, the actual with? the actual design side of it and the the create the sort of physical the visual creation of the materials is all done by me wow. I, um i have uh, published some other authors who I designed the materials for as well. But as as we sort of as I'm starting to sort of grow the amount of materials, I'm sort of looking for people to sort of st try and push some of that work out to a bit at the moment because it's sort of you know I'm working a ten to twelve hour day at the moment and that's sort of getting a bit too much. But, but yeah, most of the, most of the work you see has been done by me. Okay, what else do you do apart from creating these? The materials. Well, well, apart from the materials, you know, I do webinars and do teacher training mm -hmm. like this and sort of training other teachers to teach online and to build materials like this. Um, I do authoring and, and content writing work. I've just finished a, a very big uh, long writing course for uh, the British Council in Cairo writing about interfaith dialogue in English. And, um, you know, I've worked for other companies as well, writing materials, do some, do some blogging as well and things things like that, um, whatever kind of uh, keeps the mortgage paid. Okay, uh, here's another question. If you're using and linking to YouTube videos as part of the materials, is there anything in uh, place in case the video is removed and therefore the link stops working, for example? Do you host them yourselves? No, I don't host them myself. There isn't much in place to sort of cater for that. Um, I've sort of 
chosen things that have been around for a quite a while which and you know i can assume won't sort of disappear too quickly and you know but you know my materials are digital and that has happened but i can update them very quickly without having to sort of reissue the pdfs to teachers so if the the link moves which happens every now and again i can find the link new link build them into the html materials so you know from the user's perspective they know don't actually see what goes wrong as long as i find out uh, quite early. Uh, this is uh, if we are a language school, can we use these materials to teach? I think that you answered yes. Yes, there is yeah. option for schools with a great discount. And I think the last one for today: Have you been a graphic designer in a previous life? Uh, no, I've kind of learnt it as I go. Really, uh, I, I sort of like sort of design and and you know architecture and things like that. And if you look closely at things that you you know look out for, if you want to design your own materials, look out for things that look good and think about why. You know, and I, I've sort of learnt a lot. And you know, if you looked at the early copies of the materials, you know, which I, I'm constantly updating and improving, you know, you'd see that they've come a long way. Actually, <laughs> the first ones didn't look so great and. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm sort of constantly improving the materials and building new things into them. Okay, I think that's it for, for today. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for this presentation. It was really, really relevant and very interesting and very, very beautiful. Great. Uh, Thank you. Thank, thanks. No, I tried to make the material, I mean, you know, sorry just to go on just a bit yeah. but you know we have lots of us have sort of young younger students teenagers early 20s they're very visually conscious very design conscious and i think you know if you're putting materials in front of your students especially from an independent publisher my, like myself they have to look really good and i think that's really important and we've put a lot of time into that i think thanks very much thank you thank you so i think we will have a break uh until 11:30 and uh, the next session will be uh, 